Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I think I speak for everybody in saying, can it just be Team of the Year already? We are waiting for the big day, the big Team of the Year promo to actually be released. But as of right now, we just have leaks. We have these votes that are going on. Anna versus Team 2 that is coming out today instead to kind of hold us over, I guess, for this next week. But is the hype really with the team today or evolutions and SBC content that might be coming out? That's what I want to talk about a lot in today's video. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. There is a ton going on in this game right now with leaks, with news, with info. But we're going to start off with yesterday's player SBC, guys. We had an SBC yesterday. After a day without one, felt nice to get one. Actually, I need to go to my squad because this one went boom straight into my team. It was end of an era, Ugo Yuris. For 100 and like 16, 115,000 coins, you can get this SBC. It's an 85 and 86 rated squad, a French Premier League linking goalkeeper card. This card got a really big boost. Of course, they didn't upgrade his reactions. That's the only downside to a lot of special goalkeeper cards. They don't do that. But for the price and for the links that he has, it is a very good card. Everybody looks right away at the one-star skill moves and the one-star weak foot and is like, Nate, that is trash. I'm not touching this SBC. What I would say is, unless you're passing around the back like a five-back rat, you probably shouldn't be worried about that weak foot, and he does just fine in game. He's made some really great saves for me. I took Nick Pope out of my team for him, and uh, of course, I had to do him as a Spurs fan, but I think that SBC is a good one to do if uh, you don't already have, like, Casillas, Van der Sar, maybe even Schmeichel. I don't know if he's an upgrade over Schmeichel, but it's one that's out for two weeks, so if you want to do it at some point, if you have French links in your team, you need French links or a Spurs link, uh, maybe for Hyun Min's son or just Prem links in general, not a bad SBC for the price. I think that's a decent price. I think it's a very big boost to his his uh, 83 rated card, really high in the stats, so give him a try if you want, but goalkeeper SBCs, right, they do usually move the market, though, because whenever we get a goalkeeper SBC that's good like that remember when Schmeichel came out we had goalkeepers that went down take a look at the market yesterday a lot of goalies are down bad it shows the hype for this SBC right especially because it's a French SBC with Premier League links and a popular keeper Dudek from 81k down to 50,000 coins Ter Stegen from 140 150,000 coins down to 100k now some of these keepers have already started to rebound back like I think Casillas Thunderstruck Van der Sar they hit really really low points and started to rebound back but keepers are going to maintain low prices probably for a majority of the time that the Oris SBC is out but keep an eye on some of these rare ones like the Casillas the Van der Sar Thunderstruck maybe uh, Yashin as well some of them will start to rebound back especially ones like Ter Stegen in my opinion that are not Premier League links that again if we get a Gavi SBC today Ter Stegen could continue to go up right he's out of packs he's not getting supplied so that's a kind of impact of the market yesterday on this game I actually had to take a loss on some of the popes that I was lazy selling I bought all these for like 21k and I had to get them out quick for 20 he's now like yeah I lost one here at 18k because it didn't sell the first time around so I lost some coins on goalkeepers yesterday I probably lost like 10k here I don't really care I made more than 10k lazy selling other popes during the week but that is kind of the byproduct of a good goalie SBC we also had marquee matchups yesterday which of course is there not too much to talk about with that so it was a quiet content day a lot of people playing the cup a lot of people playing their qualifications to get into foot champions this weekend and it all builds up into today and i already mentioned team of the year in the intro and one thing we look forward to every year before team of the year is like a pre-team of the year or a team of the year warm-up series right with a lot of packs some of which were added to the code yesterday which we're going to talk about but will that start today that's my biggest question are they going to start versus team two with something like this that they put out last year. In my opinion, I don't know if it's going to be kind of woven into today that much. I think last year, this sort of Team of the Year warm-up series stuff uh, started on like Sunday or Monday. As I was looking back at some of the dates, it might be weaved into the content today with versus Team 2. But it also, we might not see anything about Team of the Year except for maybe an objective, maybe an SBC. We'll see, right? Uh, but watch out for a loading screen. Watch out for any sort of that stuff today because that's kind of my biggest question. That could impact the market a little bit. That would maybe make some people not want to buy. But the market is pretty healthy as we'll talk about later on in this video. So with it being one week, basically, until Team of the Year now, we do know that. That's cool to think about. What is going to pass the time? What cards are going to be in packs this week? We've looked at a lot of these leagues, but there are a lot of brand new ones. Let's look at versus 
ice and fire team too real quick rashford right this one could have a really nice ice card a really nice fire i think he might have one with like a weak foot upgrade and one with the skills and maybe a lot of pace like a winger one and a striker or a center attacking mid one joao felix is a card that i'm expecting to get a nice boost today as well again maybe one that's a right wing maybe one that's a striker or a center attacking mid so those are cards that are leaked at the moment and then also we've had the rodri which we've mentioned does this may maybe mean he's not getting in team of the year there's a potential for that. Rudiger, we've looked at him. Tomori, we've seen that card as well. Some big center backs coming today, probably with multiple versions, though. Not both center backs, I would imagine. Gakpo, let's get into some of the new leaks that we haven't looked at yet. Gakpo is getting a card today. Liverpool, I'm guessing, again, maybe a left wing, maybe a striker. Like, I don't know. We're going to have to see a lot of really good attackers in here, some big names. Moving on, another one, Richarlison from Spurs. Maybe a left wing one with some extra pace and maybe five star, five star. He's already got the five star weak foot on his card. This is a really good looking card as well. Going to be pretty exciting for me. And he's always pretty meta in game, especially with his dribbling being as high as it is and the five star weak foot. We've got Lawrence from the Chelsea women's team. This could be a really good card as well. I would be wondering though, what's her secondary, what are the positions going to be? He's got a right back card is maybe a right mid, maybe CDM, maybe a center back, maybe a super pacey center back card drop today for her. That's going to be interesting to see how that one shakes up. Big name here, Alexis Sanchez getting back into the promos. Um, he's four star, four star. I would have to imagine for this Alexis Sanchez, one of them is going to be five star skills. One of them is going to be a five star weak foot today. That would be pretty cracked. I'm excited for this card. I bet EA will juice Alexis Sanchez. I, I think he'll be maybe 86, 87, 88, maybe even a little higher than that. Who knows? I think he'll be a pretty juiced card today. EA usually do a good job of boosting Alexis Sanchez's cards. Alex Tellez is another leaked player that's coming today too. I know a lot of people have evoed his cards and he looks... I don't know. I could see him being one of the cheaper ones, um, maybe like even 86 rated, 87 rated, kind of like the lower tier and end up being a little bit cheaper. Maybe the Evo versions are a little bit better. And then we also have leaked. There was a, there was a tweet that Sheriff posted, I thought, with a bunch of players in it. Yeah, here it is. We got the Telez right there. We've got Isco. He's going to be cheap today, 100%. He's going to be maybe similar to like Asensio. Uh, we've got Wendy Renard that's getting a card. Higher rated, but I mean, let's get some pace on Wendy Renard. That's probably the biggest issue with her card. Links to Basha could be usable with the right pace boost for sure. Maybe one is a CDM. Maybe one's a center back with her original position. We'll have to see. We've got Gunter, who's probably going to be pretty low rated and pretty cheap. And I think that is all of the cards that are leaked at the moment, right? Again, not sure what the positions are for Rashford. Last week, we had some uh, leaked stats of official cards like right before the actual promo drop. So watch out for those today is it worth opening any of your saved packs for these i mean i have not started saving packs yet i will probably during the week this week but like again with versus team one these cards are going to be very very rare because not a lot of people are going to be opening packs in my opinion now let's get on to the rest of the content right where the excitement is today let's talk about spcs and the first spc i want to shout out is one that might come before content EA said this wasn't coming this week in their weekly tweet, but hey, they also said a flashback SBC was coming for the last two weeks, and we haven't seen it yet. I think there is a potential that Solanke Player of the Month is dropped today. Watch out for this. We'll see. It could come. It might not. It should be cheap, kind of like Harry Maguire. Hopefully, they give it a good boost. The last two Player of the Months, if they do so, then would have been very nice. So I'm hopeful for a good Solanke card today if it does drop. Now, the other SBC that I think is dropping today is Gavi, right? This was leaked last week, and then we got Sterling, and we all said Gavi's a pretty big name SBC player. This seems like a Friday promo card type of SBC. I think he's going to be our SBC player today. Now, we've looked at Gavi's base card. You probably know what it is too. High, high work rates, three star, three star, and some pretty low stats. He needs a massive juice, and he's got center mid and left wing alternate positions, so maybe just like Sterling, they'll give him a center mid version with very well-rounded stats maybe almost hullet gang apart from physicality and and shooting um with really good passing and dribbling he's going to be really really good in dribbling he's going to be cracked hopefully they boost up his composure a bit that might be the biggest problem with this card today we'll have to see and then maybe they give him a left wing version with pace but if they give him a left wing version they better juice up the skills i hope he's at least 4-4 for the midfield version and maybe even 5-4 for the left wing they need to give a juice to this gavi card this could be really hyped today it could right it's a big name player hasn't had any promos yet this year so what i would tell you to do is just like last week i flipped sam kerr 
for the uh, Chelsea links, keep an eye today on some of these Barcelona links, all right? There's a lot of them, men's team, women's team, you got options, okay? Watch this space today because if the SBC is very good, there might be cards like Akunde or I picked up Rafinha. Yes, he could be hurt if the, uh, the new Joao Felix is really cheap and really insane. Uh, but this card's really rare. The market's been doing pretty good. And if Gavi's a good SBC today, you know, cards like this, some of the other Barcelona links could end up going up a lot. Now, there are a lot of people investing too. So if you want to sell on the hype, be my guest on any of these Barca links today because people will be investing. They have been investing. And if the SBC for Gavi is not good, some of those links may go down. Now, that's the player SBC I think that's coming today. The bigger SBC, though, is one that a lot of us are going to want to do, even though we might be saving packs because this came out last week on Sunday or earlier this last week on Sunday. It's refreshing today. The 87 plus Base Centurion Thunderstruck Icon Player Pick. This is the one that I got freaking on re from, so I'm tempted to do this again. And once again, this required not one, but two Team of the Week cards. It was 86, 87, and 87 rated. And it made fodder move a good amount last week. So what I would tell you to do is watch on your inform prices today. I remember like Sunday last week is when I had bought um, Dragason and other 86 rated informs for like 35,000 coins. Um, and I think at the same time, the base informs on the market were about 33 or 34K. And these cards went up to about 40,000 coins. I think 86 informs right now are like 37 to 38K. Some of them are 38K already. So people are definitely investing in this stuff. And there's only, I think, one 86 rated inform in this week's team league, which doesn't help as well. Um, but all informs on the market right now, I believe, are about 32K. People have started to invest here for this SBC that's coming today with, that requires two team of the weeks. And also they started investing for the SBCs that are going to come this next week that will be stacking packs for team of the year. I think Team Leaks are a good investment, but if you remember what happened last Sunday when this SBC released, Team of the Weeks didn't go up and stay up in price. They spiked and then came crashing right back down within a number of hours because this SBC is only one time repeatable. And yes, it is pretty expensive, so not as many people can do it. I could see informs on the higher tier having a bit of a rise today. I could see even all informs going up a little bit for this SBC refreshing, but then I would imagine they might come back down in price with lightning rounds, with trade old pack supply, and with investors bringing the price back down as they try to sell out of their cards after that initial spike. So we'll have to see, right? Friday's big supply days, even without even without a lot of people opening their safe packs. I think that might be how those prices move today. And of course, watch out for your 86, 87, and 88 rated fodder. There could be some moves there, but it could drop later on in the night. We'll talk about fodder a little bit more later on in the video too. Let's talk about objectives really quick. Remember we had Stuwani this last week, which actually I should finish because I'm really close to finishing Stuwani. I guess I have to win five more matches. That's not really close. Uh, but this goes away today. I think we'll get something else in place of this. They dropped a uh, storyline card this last week. They might do it again. The only other thing to watch out for today is maybe another daily play objective. And I wonder if they'll do FC versus daily play or if they'll even start it. Uh, maybe some team of the year type stuff. I feel like if there's any team of the year daily thing, I think there was a leak earlier in the week of a team of the year daily play objective. Maybe that's today. Maybe that's next week. Who knows? But we'll definitely have one of those returning back into the game today as well. Now, let's talk market a little bit because market's been all over the place, right? Goalkeepers are down as we looked at, but a lot of the rest of the market is actually going up. I did really well yesterday. Lazy selling is essentials. I've lazy sold a lot of my uh, 90 rated for above 60,000 coins. You can see here that I'm listing 84s as well. I'm selling 82 Havertz for 1300 coins. The sales are good. The market is actually in some areas going up a considerable amount. As I look at some out of packs cards and look at their prices day over day, I'm seeing a John Barnes. I'm seeing a Stoichkov. These are the cards that are moving the most guys. The middle tier, the rare cards. Look at Stoichkov from yesterday, 400,000 coins. Right now, he's been rising all night. He's up to 450,000 coins. You look around some other winter wild cards, you look around the market, there are prices like Doku, that card is up, and Kunku is up. Um, other winter wild cards, team three cards. Shearer, 180k, close to 247. That's a really big rise for him. Uh, Goretzka is up. Adiemi's 300k. What a rise for him. Might be a bit of a rarity spike. But the market's doing really well because content's just pretty mid, right? And I think that trend could continue today, and it could be a really good time, just like it was last Friday, to get some cards that rise 
after content and they rise as people go out onto the game, they play weekend league, they play games, and there's natural demand there, right? And the new cards that are being released today, they'll be pretty good to trade with too because I do imagine they will be pretty rare. So just like last week, you'll want to watch the brand new cards that drop today. So make sure you just you know, keep an eye out. I, once, I would say watch out for midfielders if the Gavi SBC is very good. People might be selling midfielders to do that one. Um, and again, remember that these versus cards do have extra links, right? They get an extra club link for the ice version and an extra nation link for the fire version, which helps out squad building a lot. So these cards do have demand. And a lot of people have been asking me, Nate, should I invest in these? And as I look at a lot of these prices, uh, bar kind of an undercut here on Marta, which that is pretty low for her, a lot of these cards have already started to go up. And the only way that I would want to buy them today is if they kind of hit like if there's any supply from people playing weekend league and opening packs before the content drop today you can see kamavinga was 234 yesterday around rivals rewards and after content was up to 250k he's still about 250 right now you can see bar one undercut if i look at the versus fire cards um you know kamavinga's left back card is going up a lot trippier is going up a lot um, Uba Meccano, Firmino is almost 400k. A lot of these cards are rising, so I'm only going to invest in them for a short rise out of packs into tonight, into tomorrow. If they drop today before the content drop, or maybe even after, I'd be tempted to pick a couple of them up. But uh, guys, I think that these cards would probably only rise up for the weekend because they're just really rare. We've been talking about it all week. They're just rare, and I think people do really value the chemistry links that they provide, um, which makes them pretty in demand, right? And they do have a sick card design, and there's two versions for each player that make them different and unique, right? Especially for a guy like Firmino. So some of these could rise up a good amount in the weekend. But like I said, again, just look at the graphs, kind of find what is a good price for some of those players that you're maybe interested in, and then probably sell them at some point this weekend because I think the market can do well this weekend, especially if content's not that good. But I think next week, when we get into the real team of the year hype and we get leaks starting to come out and we get crazy stuff happening for team of the year and the build up to it, then I think you're going to see some more panic. Now, a couple other things to watch for today in terms of the market store packs. And I want to look at some actual pack code for store packs that are going to be coming out today. You know, on Fridays, right? They dropped the lightning rounds. We haven't had lightning rounds all week since Sunday, which is kind of crazy. I do believe that these versus packs have a chance to come back since they, uh, of course, were released for team one. But there are some even newer versus packs. There's a premium versus pack that's been added to the code, which is 100 players inside of it. And there's some other ones that aren't necessarily versus related that look really insane. Supreme Champions League Heroes Pack. Guys, this is the first pack that contains UEFA, UCL, or UWCL Heroes. Those have only been in packs, what was that, like late November or, or December, whenever we had those UCL Hero cards in packs for the, the team of the group stage promo. That was the only time they were out. This is the second time we've ever been able to pack them. Two of them are guaranteed in one pack, along with a 100 cards, 82 and above, and 10 of them 87 and above. Now, thank goodness this pack is untradeable or else that would be a fodder killer, market killer. That's going to be an expensive pack, but it's going to be one that people try. Now, I wouldn't do that if you're going to spend FC points because you know who your two heroes are going to be, right? You're going to get like Dudek and I don't know, somebody really, really low rated like Risa. Risa wouldn't even be that bad, but you're going to get the guys that are like 20, 15, 20K. Remember the guaranteed winter wild cards packs? It's going to be like those. We also have a Kinetic Encore pack, which contains a Team of the Group Stage, Dynasties, Radioactive, or Thunderstruck with 10 rare golds in it, all items untradeable. So that's kind of like a promo gamble card pack. That sounds like a store pack to me as well, since it contains 10 rare gold cards. And then we start into some of those Team of the Year pack, code car, um, pack codes that have been released. These are going to be packs that we will be looking forward to uh, before Team of the Year drops this next week. We'll talk about those in a second. Last thing I want to say about packs in the store. Lightning rounds regarding fodder. We've already mentioned it, but if we get the 84 times 10, we've been talking about this now, right? The 84 times 10 pack destroys fodder prices, guys. Like it destroys them. Remember last week, we thought 84s were low and then they went even lower because they dropped the 84 times 10 multiple times. Yes, I know 84s are up. They're 2.3K. They've been an incredible investment. 85s have been an incredible investment over this last week because they were down at 4,000 coins. 4,000 coins right? And then what happened? Boom, they went all the way to 5.2. If they drop the 84 times 5, I don't know if 85s are going to go all the way back to 4k. I don't know if 84s are going to go all the way back to 
I don't think that 88s are going to go all the way back to 16K. I don't think they're going to go that low, right? That was probably the low point when we were talking about fodder these whole last couple of days. If 88s go back to like 18K, that's incredible, right? If you see that sort of drop after this big rise back that we've had in the past week of not a lot of content, not a lot of packs open, if we get the 84 times 10 today, fodder will be viable again on the weekend today tomorrow get on bids right get on bids when those packs are out because people like them because you get so many high rated cards and it's going to feel like a good deal if you open those because high rateds have gone up a decent amount that's going to draw more people to open those packs i mean you got a rashford in packs you got a joao felix you got some big name cards in packs as well so the 84 times 10 could really impact things on the fodder side of the market today so what that's why i want to tell you guys to be careful with fodder and we'll look to invest in that and maybe some informs a little bit later after today's spike maybe right this is how i think it could go we could see a bit of a spike and uh, with the sbc's refreshing and then i think we could see some of these high rateds come back down and informs come back down then we have another opportunity to invest late into friday and saturday we'll just see how much they come back down that'll depend on EA getting after the bag with those 84 times 10 lightning rounds, which we know EA, they love the bag. So guys, regarding the market, one more thing regarding the market. Um, we have had some really suspect activities happening. I don't know if you look at Footbin, uh, most popular players at all, but there has been some really shady stuff going on with pumps and dumps. And it's frustrating. And it's also disappointing that like, I, I don't know, man, just be careful. All right, because there are guys that are doing really sus, sus stuff on the market like raspadori yesterday i almost missed this because it happened so fast um raspadori was twelve thousand coins and in a matter of minutes he hit 39k that is not natural that is fake that is somebody in a discord saying go buy this card pump it up for whatever reason if there's a legit evo or even if there's not people are going and buying these cards and then really what they're doing is they're losing themselves coins but they're losing coins for everybody who buys on the way up right they pump the card up people see the price is going for it's going up a lot it's going up a lot they buy 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 and then the price just goes all the way back down to where it was before like 12k he's 14,000 coins right now because that's how much this card should be on the market he should not be 40k so evos have ruined like the market in terms of pump and dumps recently right as i take a look at the top of footman right now you've got a manchester united women's player that has gone from a thousand coins yesterday a thousand, 1500 coins, 650 today, all the way up to 10,000 coins uh, for her card. And I, I think that's Evo related, uh, right? You, you've seen many cards um, like Felipe Anderson is extinct. That's not a pump and dump, right? That's for legit and actually good Evo. People are trying to snipe him. I get that. But you see cards now all the time that are getting pumped and dumped. Guys, just be careful because here's the thing. EA this year, and maybe EA knew this was going to happen, and that's why they tightened up their restrictions on whatever they use, whatever software programs they use to ban people on the transfer market and transfer ban people, coin wipe. Guys, people are getting coin wiped left, right, and center for trading with these pump and dumps, especially if it's lower rated like golds that go up from 1,000 coins to 10,000 coins. It's a part of trading and investing that you feel like you're missing out on when you see cards go crazy, but really, you don't want to be a part of it because you're putting your account at risk for bans and really it's not worth the risk because you have to be on at the right time and be in like the 0.5% of people that play this game that get the leaks. I don't get the leaks. I don't invest like this. I watch the prices go up and it is crazy. It's like, wow, shoot. If I had one of those, I would have sold it in my club. If you have one in your club, I think it's fine, right? If a card goes to max price. What I would tell you is this is a rule of thumb people have been talking about this year. If you have a card, if you pack a card that's max price, let's say you pack Kyle Walker, who's still 21K, Alaba, um, or Rodrigo, who's max 10K, right? Sell them for not 10K or not max price. Drop your price down to like, like one or 200 coins. Like I would sell Alaba for like somewhere in the 9K range because it seems like you'd be less likely to get banned by EA system and they would think that you're not coin trained. Look at here's another one. Who's Who's Robert? Robert has gone from a women's right mid from 700 coins to 5k. Again, chat. Again, there might be an Evo that's coming. We're going to take a look at a couple of leaks. I just called you guys chat. You're the YouTube channel. You're not the Twitch chat. Come through to the Twitch streams. Link is down below in the, in the uh, description. Anyways, don't get involved in this stuff. It's very risky and you are at a high risk of being banned. So that's my... Um, I'll just hop off the soapbox of the pump and dump situation with evolutions in the market. But like we talked about yesterday... 
we are getting some evolutions. I think we will get an Evo today, right? We had the big Icon Evo leak. We didn't get it yesterday, so another day without it. We're still waiting for it. Again, I think this is an L evolution, unless you already have the Icon in your club. So this is still a real and legit Icon evolution leak that is out there. And there is one more real and legit leak. It is a skill move evolution tweeted by Foot Police Leaks. I believe we're going to get something today, chat guys. I almost said chat again. We're going to get something today, whether it's a skill move evolution, whether it's a completely different Evo um, or the Icon Evo. I do believe we'll get an Evo today. Fridays have been Evo days, and there are multiple Evos in the next couple of days. Some of those ones that we got during... Um, winter wild cards the first week like i have to put somebody into like a rock today i think i'm going to end up doing a multi-step evolution a chain evo with like a rock um maybe high visibility i think he fits into there and then also the keeping balance i think for weston mckinney i'm going to put him into those and get myself a little playstyle plus action going on there but uh like a rock expires pretty soon and then grow spurt also expires in a couple days so we're going to get some new Evos, in my opinion, to replace those. And those ones that we've seen leaked recently, a skill move upgrade. We don't know the requirements, the icon evolution. That could be uh, some of it is coming soon as well. Now, there is a, uh, there's a rumor going around, and I will tell you about this one because um, I've seen some I'm seeing some tweets on Twitter which make me a little bit... I'm reading this a little bit, but from trusted sources. There's been rumors about a bronze evolution. Remember the golden glow up at the beginning of the game where a lot of people did Manu from Manchester United. There were some absolute gems that you could create. Like this Mahmood is a card that I took from a 62 rated, put him through the golden glow up, got him to like an 81, and then put him into another couple Evos to make him an 87. Like there is rumors of a bronze Evo circling again. So that could be pretty cool. But again, very high chance if you're going to go buy a bronze player that you think is going to go up a lot on the market. Be careful because those can be bannable. A guy goes from 200 or 500 coins all the way up to 10,000 coins extinct and you sell like 10 of them there, or maybe even five of them there. You don't know, man. You, you don't want to mess around. You don't want to mess with that in my opinion. So uh, we don't know what their um, requirements or what they would require for that are either. But yeah, guys, Evos, they're going crazy as always. I love Evos, but they're just, I mean, it was going to happen, right? With, especially with stuff being on the market. People want the most meta. People want the craziest. And it is fun to find those combinations. But um, it does create some craziness on the market that we try to stay out of. But uh, we do have to talk about it because it does make the market go absolutely crazy. So yeah, that's what I'm watching for today, guys. I'm really interested. And let me rephrase it again. I'm really interested in fodder. Like fodder is huge this weekend. Okay. I hope that it drops for a really good entry point. Once again, again, I don't believe you're going to see the super low prices, but with team of the weeks and these cards going to be needed for SBCs in the upcoming week, like we mentioned in the pack code that was here, the triple 85 plus attackers pack, triple 85 plus midfielders. And then the other ones, the 85 to 83 times five for attackers, midfielders, and defenders. These packs are going to be coming out and they're going to be SBCs, in my opinion, that will be dropped this next week. And you're going to need fodder for them. It won't, you don't want to need a lot, right? 82s, 83s, 84s, 85s. Last year, they required for the 85 plus times three, they required um, two team of the weeks and an 87, two 87s. But uh, this year, I think they're going to have to sw swash, switch that up a little bit with their requirements. So we'll see what they end up doing. But those packs are something to consider. You don't have to buy right now for fodder, but be watching for it and be hoping that it drops a little bit today, unless you just want to get involved right away. And if you're happy at the current prices, a club stock is very, very necessary for this weekend and for this next week on this game. So that's the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. Link below in the description. Peace.